Hey folks, it's your man Lamar Darnell Shields on the street here in Baltimore, excited that school is about to start. I came across this beautiful young lady, Nevaeh, who's going to the second grade, and she's going to tell you who her favorite teacher is. Who's your favorite teacher? My favorite teacher is Mr. Cabo because he's nice and he came to a pageant. He came to, so you are part of a pageant? Yeah. Wow, what did you do in the pageant? Well, we model, we, we All right, so you, you performed in the pageant. School is starting on Monday. What are you excited about going back to school for? I'm excited because we get to learn more about animals and all kinds of stuff. Wow, animals and all kinds of stuff. So again, I want you to look in the camera and I want you to say a big thank you to all the teachers across the country who's going to be starting school on Monday. Go ahead. Well, I'm glad that Mr. Cabo is going to be a third grade teacher and a fourth grade teacher because I want to see him again. And I'm thankful for Mr. Scott because my mom's teacher was Mr. Scott's teacher. All right, on three, we're going to say go teachers. One, two, three. Go! Hey folks, it's your man Lamar Darnell Shields again down here at the Baltimore Harbor. You know Monday in Baltimore and schools district across the country is the very first day of school. So we're down here interviewing people and we're asking them about who their favorite teacher was when they were in school. Ran into Miss Thompson who happens to be a, a former educator, retired principal, assistant principal, but you never retire really. And so she's going to tell us who her favorite teacher was when she was in what school? Fourth grade. Fourth grade, who At was it? Windsor Hill Elementary School, Mr. Kirschman. What did Mr. Kirschman, what were the characteristics of Mr. Kirschman? Mr. Why did you Kirschman like so was the best teacher because Mr. Kirschman didn't just teach us about things, he made us experience things. Okay. When we learned about prehistoric times, he took us out and we actually dug in the ground looking for fossils. You didn't fossils. dig up no dinosaurs, did you? We tried. See, she trying to show her age. We, she said she bought, dug up dinosaurs. And we bought many chicken bones to him oh, thinking you? we had found okay. the dinosaurs. Yeah, Baltimore chicken, chicken box. <laughs> yeah, um, when we did science, we wow. actually did experiments with every principle of science there was. Okay. When we learned about a particular age, if they had dances, he taught us the dances. I learned to waltz and do the menu wet in fourth okay. grade because wow. of Mr. Kirschman. Okay, now can you do the wobble and can you do the electric slide? Oh, can I can still do it. Oh, all. you still got it. Okay. Yeah. Now as an administrator, <laughs> because school is starting for many of the schools yes. here in Baltimore and across yes. the country, right. what message do you have for, let's just say, a brand new teacher that's just walking into the school for the very first time? What message do you have for them? Just remember what your purpose is, what you're there to do. That first year may be difficult, but you will make a difference. Hang in there, make a partnership with older teachers to mentor you, and don't give up on what you want to do, which is to help young people, because you will make a difference. You are the difference in our, our future. You really are. Hey, this is your man Lamar Darnell Shields. It's on the streets of Baltimore. Again, interviewing people because school starts on Monday across the country for most schools district. I ran to my brother Demetrius, brothers from Louisville. Don't say Louisville, say Louis, what, how do you say it? Louisville. Louisville. And I asked the brother who his favorite teacher was. Tell him exactly what you said to me first. My favorite teacher is Louisville. No, before you oh. said that. I told him I have a favorite teacher. Because living in the South, he said all your teachers were what? They, they discriminated. They discriminated. He didn't want to say racist. I heard him say racist off camera. They discriminated, which is, a, which is a great word. But then as I asked him more questions, he started to think about who his favorite teacher was. And who did you say your favorite teacher was? I said Miss Smith. Can I change it? You can change it. Go uh, ahead. Who is it? I, I was in ROTC in okay. high school. And my favorite teacher was Sergeant, I forgot his last name, but his name, his first name was Ren. Okay. At Jason High School. What what made this teacher your favorite teacher, man? What, what about him? Because he was real with you and he didn't like, I mean, I guess he didn't discriminate. He didn't discriminate against you. He always listened to what you have to say and he, he was a good teacher. All right, I want you to look right there in the camera and I want you to, as he as if he's looking at you, I want you to thank him and give him a message. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Wren, or Sergeant Wren, and I appreciate everything he did for me because that, that taught me to be a better man and I'm going to the military and I guess that's what you kind of wanted for us to do. So thank you. Appreciate it. Folks, your man Lamar Darnell Shields. Monday, we know school starts here in Baltimore City. It started across the country. And I'm interviewing people 
just asking them questions about who their favorite teachers are or were. So I stopped Renee and Ebony. I know it sounds like a singing group. Renee and Ebony, and I asked them who their favorite teacher was. And homegirl right here started to smile so hard. <laughs> Hopefully she got an A in this teacher's class. I did. Who was your favorite teacher? Mrs. Tillman. Why, what about Mrs. Tillman? I loved her because she was tough, but she was very like you, very animated. She got everybody involved and asked you what you liked and what you didn't like and why. You know, she really was interested in and what you felt. Okay. Who was your favorite teacher? My favorite teacher was Miss Harris Ms. in Harris? the 11th grade. 11th grade. Yes. Why did you like Miss Harris? I loved her because um, at my school we didn't have um, black history studies and okay. she started that class up and she allowed us to have um, clubs based on our black culture and we used to talk about it after school. Oh. So how does it feel? I mean, I just brought up some memories for you to think yeah. about those. Look at your face. I know. <laughs> does like, oh, that was nice. I make you all right, so what I want you to do is I want you to look right in the camera. Now, you want, I want you to go first. I want you, as if you're talking to Miss Harris, I want you to thank her. Miss Harris, I just want to thank you for all that you did for me. I still have great memories of all the times that we spent together. All right. Miss Tillman, I love you so much. I appreciate you keeping me on my grind and making me do what I had to do and not accepting any excuses. So I appreciate you and um, you are awesome. Hey, what's up, folks? Your man Lamar Darnell Shields again here in Baltimore, as you, as you guys know. Monday is the first day of school in Baltimore City and children all over the country will be going back to school. So again, I'm interviewing people and I'm asking them one question. When I say your favorite teacher, who comes to mind? Uh, for me, my favorite teacher was Mr. Nassif. Why was Mr. Nassif your favorite teacher? And your face is just lighting up. Yeah, he was um, super invested in me as a student and I had him in seventh grade and then I also had him as a senior in high school. Was he stalking you? No. Oh, okay, just making sure. <laughs> he just moved. <laughs> he just moved. But okay. he really cared about his students and it made kind of our subjects, both subjects I had with him really interesting and okay. fun. So. Now, who was your favorite teacher? My favorite teacher was my fifth grade teacher, Mr. Kelleher. And what did you like about him? What did you like? I said that. What did you like about him? Um, he had this really big personality that kind of matches my own. Um, he made every subject that he taught uh, interesting, and he made it apply to my life. Even things like the Constitution that I still know to this day, and I'm 23. Um, just different things like movies and just made it interactive, and it was just a really good lesson plan, and I learned so much in fifth grade. So if you have something <laughs> to say to him, look right in the camera. What would you say to him to thank him for the great work he's done? Hi, Mr. Kelleher. You probably don't remember me, but you were an amazing teacher, and you kind of changed my life when I was in the fifth grade, so thank you. And what would you say to the teacher that was stalking you? <laughs> I'll see you on Facebook. No. Um, I would just say thank you. I probably wouldn't have gotten through college without you and wouldn't be here where I am today without you. All right, so on three, we're going to say go teachers. One, two, three. Go, go teachers! teachers. Hey, what's, folks? what's up, folks? It's your man, Lamar Darnell Shields, here in Baltimore City. You know school is starting on Monday, and I'm down here interviewing just regular people and asking them who their favorite teacher was. I ran into Twyla, and I asked her the same question. Who was your favorite teacher? A man named Randy Humble. A Randy Humble. What school was this at? Frederick Douglass High School, Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Upper Marlboro, Maryland. So this yes. is not even in Baltimore City, it's in Upper Marlboro. Yes. So I see the expression on your face. What did you like about this teacher? Everything, everything. He was one of those teachers that just made an everlasting impression. He was always friendly. He was one of those that he cared about all his students. He was also on one of the county executive boards in Charles okay. County at the same time. Okay. He used to like doing things like taking us on trips like duck hunting and things. Wow. Just get us out there in the field to experience life, period. He was great. So let, let's look in the camera. You want to thank him right now. Mr. Hummel, if I could see you again, I would just always love to say thank you so much for everything you taught me from U.S. American and European history as well as my AP classes. Wasn't for you, I probably would never pass my AP classes. <laughs> hey, this is your man Lamar Darnell Shields here in Baltimore, Maryland. We're, we're going to be talking about great teachers. I ran into three college students who are all from Maryland, Howard County. They grew up in Howard County. They went to high school together. Now they're college students. One young lady's at Micah. The other two is the University of Maryland. And they're going to tell you who their favorite teacher was from elementary, high school, middle school, all the way to college. Begin. All right. I want to give a shout out to Mr. Ellis, who taught me music through my four years of high school, uh, inspired me to become a music teacher in college. So thank you. Mine's to Miss Myers Bunch. I had her four years in high school for art, and now I'm going to her old college at Micah. So she's really instilled a passion for art in me. 
Uh, shout out to Mr. Shea. I know he left uh, the U.S. and is now in Africa, but um, he was a great English teacher, and like English is one of the subjects that's kind of hard to capture people with, so it was great that he did that. That way. Yes. My you first can. great teacher, Dr. Shelton. Was. So why was Dr. Shelton your favorite teacher? Because she like she do things for us. She take us on trips, mm -hmm. same thing, and like she's friendly to us. All right, so I want you to look right there in the camera and I want you to give her a message and tell thank Ms. her Curl, for everything you. that she's done for you. Right there. Go tell Miss Dr. Shelton, thank you. Thank you, Miss Dr. Shelton, for everything you have done for me. All right.